Good boy. Good boy. You want some more bread? There you go. He wants his bread. So that's up close and personal to the old fella. Come on. Come on. Come boy, get up. Come on, get up. Get up. If you want some more, you've got to get up, okay, kid? No, don't say no. You have to get up. Come boy. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on, kiddo. Come on. Up you get. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ro. Come on, boy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come get some bread. Come on. 120 kilometer electric fence energizer. And you can see it's got a red cable and a black cable. The black cable goes down there to a star picket. It's hard to see. But when you come up, you can see the flashing red lights sending a pulse out and it's making a ticking sound and there you have it the energizer Good morning and welcome to camp. Uh, today we're going to go out and have a look at Row the Second and go through the fence situation. He's been very naughty and he's been jumping five strand barbed wire fences. So I'll just show you what we're doing to stop him. Um, so let's go. girls are up at the uh, yards for their morning visit. Okay, the three boys in front of us there. So we'll just talk about the electric fences for a bit. So along here you'll see where we've got a little stud bolt connected to a fence wire running along the top of the post. That's coming from the tractor shed over there. And it comes to here. It's got an insulator block and then it comes live. It comes on here, each post up this line has an insulator and every post on the property, every gate has a yellow handle. So that's live at the moment. And we'll just grab the tester out of the box here. I'll wait till it to go off. So it's now off. And we'll, as we move towards the fence here, it comes on. And we'll just hook that up there, 7.2, 6.9, 7,000, that's 7,000 volts. Um, that's the electricity that goes through the cattle and me. And stainless steel wire, about 1.2 millimetres, which is all the way up to the property up to the mountain fence up there. It's about 200 metres, roughly. That single wire is enough to keep these guys in. All our internal fences down there where Road the Second is at the moment are electric fences. Barbed wire fences here are the original fences on the property. I chose not to go with barbed wire fences internally cattle are at the yards at the moment 
So let's go and see Ray the second. And then we'll go and have a look at the fence where he jumped over. So we've got his favourite treats. Morning, boo. Boy, how you going? How are you? Do you want some bread? Do you want some bread? Do you want some bread, boy? So he'll get up as we get closer to him. Want some bread? Come here. Want some bread? Come on, up you get. Come on, boy. Up you get. Come on. Oh, you want some bread? Oh, yes, please. I'll have bread. Come on, get up off your bum. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want some bread? Get up. Come on. Come on. He's a docile boy. This fella has uh, he sired 15 calves on the ground since he's been here. And we've got three pregnant, heavily pregnant. So he's done pretty well. So we've got about 20 breeders. Come on, boy, get up. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You want some more bread? There you go. He wants his bread. So that's up close and personal to the old fella. Come on. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Get up. If you want some more, you've got to get up, okay, kid? No, don't say no. You have to get up. Come on, boy. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on, kiddo. Come on, up you get. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ro. Come on, boy. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come get some bread. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, okay, you can have it here. There you go, boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Come on. There's one piece left. You gonna come up here? You gonna follow me? Come on. So this bad boy, he's been over fences twice now. Not talking a little fence, I'm talking a big fence. And now, once we trucked him back to the property, he got locked up in jail for two days in the yards. And now we're stuck in this pasture here. He doesn't want to follow me this morning, but that's okay. I'm going to give him the last bit of bread. So he's stuck in this pasture here. We call it the third pasture. There is no, no other property. There you go, boy. There you go, good boy. Right, now you be a good boy, okay? Be a good boy. So there's no other property, no other people's cattle adjacent to this property. We've got the electric fence, which goes up the back here to the mountain fence, and it comes back down where the stairs are up there. And it's electric fence on three sides, and a barbed wire fence up the mountain fence. And the only reason he, he jumps fences is because females and uh, so I've had our main fences far over there in the distance I'll go over there and have a look let's show you what we've done hey eh? what do you think you'll do anything for girls won't you well, let's go okay so Jess and I'll we'll go over to the uh, Fences where Row the Second has jumped off. Hey Jess, say smile for the camera. Say hi. Okay, let's go.
I like your style there, Jess. Okay, so here we have another junction. We have a strainer, insulator block, insulator block, another gate, and this also goes up to the mountain fence. So looking around here, we have these star pickets going back towards the yards. So what you're looking at there is the what we call third pasture. So let's open this gate, let us hook in with the spring. Hey Jess. Good job. So, this is where he went over here. Um, this is a uh, chest high, it's at least four foot high, and we have a five strand barbed wire fence. I did find this top wire a little bit slack, so he's gone over here. It's one of no hair on the fence but I haven't looked for it but he's gone over this fence here because on the other side of the fence was the neighbors cows and one of them was in heat and I did try and coax him back to the gate that's down the end here but he was more interested in the, the ladies so I had to just restrain this fence and get it all tight again. So, this is the cattle were actually the cattle were actually uh, hanging out in this region the uh, a day before, two days before I noticed them missing. So, it's amazing what they'll do. They'll get to a lady. So what we've done is I'm electrifying the top wire and we'll have signs along here, yellow signs along here and this top wire here will become connected to our electric fence circuit. So when he comes up to the fence in the future, oh well, when I see him messing around near the fences, I'll liven the wire up. We won't keep it permanently live um, we'll just liven it when it's needed so this is where he escaped right here <laughs> 